The North Carolina Senate race is heating up and today former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory announced he is running. He joins North Carolina Congressman Mark Walker on the Republican side. On the Democratic side, state senators Eric Erica Smith and Jeff Jackson have announced they are running. All of them looking to fill the seat left empty by Senator Richard Burr after he announced he would not seek reelection. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly spoke to McCrory, who is trading in his radio job in hopes for a new job. Yeah, for the last three years, McCory has hosted a radio show here at WBT in Charlotte. But today, as he announced his run for the Senate, said today would also mark the last day of the radio show. I'm in. I'm in. Today, Charlotte's own Pat McCory making a big announcement on his radio show. I'm going to run for the U.S. Senate. And just hours after that announcement, I caught up with McCrory to discuss everything from his ambitions to HB2. So you announced today you are running for the U.S. Senate. How are you feeling today? I feel very positive. We're getting incredible reaction, not only just in the Charlotte region, but from throughout North Carolina. McCrory enters the race with a combined 18 years of experience, having first served as Charlotte's mayor and then as North Carolina's governor. I'm honored to always call Charlotte my home. And uh, it'd be an honor to be the mayor of Charlotte, one time the governor of North Carolina, and then senator. If he makes it to Washington, McCrory says he'll use his experience to address issues around transportation, infrastructure, and protecting the border. Because within a very short period of time, North Carolina is going to feel the impact of illegal immigration. But the race for the Senate seat expected to be a battle. Right now, the Senate is evenly split, 50 Democrats to 50 Republicans. And today, Democrats quick to respond to McCrory's bid. In a statement, North Carolina Democrats calling McCrory a failed politician who signed hateful and divisive legislation into law, hurt our national reputation, and damaged our state's economy. That statement in regard to HB2, otherwise known as the bathroom bill, which was ultimately repealed after high-profile events fled the state in protest. Today, McCrory responded. I've moved on and so is Charlotte, thank God. And now five years after signing HB2 into law, McCrory taking a different stance. Listen, I want to judge everyone not by identity politics. We've got to stop this identity politics. We've got to judge people by their character, their soul and their heart. Reporting in Charlotte, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.